Hello and welcome to your daily sketches. Um, today we are going to um, need a block or um, your book or something. It needs to be hard or solid because um, we're going to do something that is quite good to release um, tension headaches. So we're staying indoors and the weather changing a bit and it getting a bit rainier. We might find that we've got a lot of tension in our neck, shoulders and head. So we're going to start with just releasing the head and neck to begin with, and then we're going to come into a child's pose and just do something that's going to stimulate what's called the vagus nerve, which is really good for um, releasing tension in the head. Okay, so let's just come to um, a comfortable seated position. So let's lengthen through the spine here, and let's just drop the chin towards the chest and then just gently take it up towards the ceiling. Just be careful not to dump the weight into the back of the neck here. And just bring it down and then take it back up. And now let's go side to side. So looking left, center, right, center, and just carry on. Just breathing naturally keeping the spine tall. Okay, now let's just roll the shoulders with the breath. Just let them get loose. And going the other way now. Just breathing naturally. Taking a breath in, arms come up to the top. Exhale, left one comes forward, right one behind. Inhale, come to the top. Exhale, go the other way. Let's just get a little twist into the neck as well here. So just looking over the shoulder as you go through the movement. Breathing as you come up and exhaling as you go into your little twist. And the other way. And coming back up to the top. And just coming to stillness here. Now from here we're just going to um, try and release the shoulders here. So we're going to take the arms out in front of us. Take the right one over the left one. And just give yourself a cuddle here. Keep the spine nice and long. And then taking the arms behind you. Now you can either take the opposite elbow in the hands here and just open up across the shoulders. Or if you want to, you can come into a reverse prayer position if this is available to you. But you want to keep the chest nice and soft. So if you're not popping your chest out, the chest is nice and straight. And then again, taking the arms out in front of you. Now the right one goes on top of the left. Give yourself a hug. Keep the spine long. And then again, either taking the arms behind you and grabbing the elbows or coming into your reverse pair position, softening through the chest here. Just feel those shoulders roll back and down. and release and then just allowing the neck to fall from one side to the other side just moving with the breath just try and drop some of that tension back And then just gently coming into stillness. Then we're going to come into a child's pose and feel free to take any props that you want here in between your um, heels and your thighs. So bring the toes to touch, take the knees as wide as you need to for your body. And then just come and sit down on the heels, bring the chest forwards. 
and then you're going to have the block so that the forehead is just resting on it. So just relax the arms wherever. Just get comfortable here. And then you're just going to move the head from side to side. Just breathing as you rock. And this is stimulating what's known as the vagus nerve, which is really, really good for relaxation. So just moving gently. And then coming to stand. You can leave the forehead here if you want to, or you can leave the block out of the way, whatever feels good for you. Just make sure the forehead's nice and flat on the block or the brick or the surface that you've got. And you should feel a nice release in the lower spine here as well. So just stay here for as long as you want to. And then when you're ready, just gently pushing up, moving those props. And that's it for today. A nice way to ease ourselves into a Monday, four day week. Mm -hmm. So um, I hope that helps if you find that you may be getting a little bit of tension in the head. Might see you tomorrow. Bye.